Today I'll show you how to create a user the easy way on Ubuntu Linux. There's a couple ways to get to the proper settings to be able to create a user. First off, most of you might want to just go up top to the right hand corner and select settings. When you get into settings, you can go down to the very bottom with the scroll bar on the left and hit users. Make sure users is selected and you're going to be forced to use an administrative user in order to make changes to user accounts. This means you'll need a root user to unlock and add users or change settings. Hit the unlock button and type in that administrative user's password in order to authenticate and be able to add another user. Another way to get to users, you can hit activities and simply type in users into the search. You'll get the settings, users, add or remove users and change your password. Click that and that'll lead you to the same spot if you're having trouble finding it. Very good. After you've authenticated and logged in with a root user, you can hit add user up top. It's a green button here on Ubuntu and it says create a user account. Click the button and now you are able to add a user. First off, you can put in a user's full name. So for example, I'm going to use Savvy Nick and this is just a name for the account that's using the user. And then you're gonna type in a username. So for example, I can just type in Savvy Nick 2 since I already have a username called Savvy Nick. Notice it says here, this will be used as the name of your home folder and it can't be changed. So make sure to put in a username that you like and that you'll remember. And then you have two options here. You can allow the user to set their own password when they log in next or give the user a password right now. I'm gonna give the user a password now and then make sure to remember this password because you're not gonna be able to get into this user if you forget it. Anyways, when you're ready to go, you can hit add. Now we'll mention you have two different account types, the standard account and an administrator account. An administrator account allows this current user that you're creating to, to be able to log in as a root user, which allows super privileges for this user. So be careful giving somebody administrative privileges because they can make system changes, including deleting accounts, accessing system files or, or other users files. So only people you trust and who are going to administer the computer or server should have an administrator account. Most people should have the standard account, which cannot go across users. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. Anyways, I'm gonna hit the add button and that's going to create two accounts. Notice over here, Savvy Nick is the name. I'm actually gonna name this Savvy Nick 2, just rename it here, pretty easy to do. That way we can tell the difference between the administrator, notice this is checked on the on side, versus the standard user Savvy Nick 2. You can also specify language or even automatic login and look at account activity for each particular user from this dialog. Make sure you understand that this is a great thing to do if you want to check when a user last logged in. Notice right here for Savvy Nick, my administrative user, I've logged in and started a session yesterday at 7.53, ended at 8.14, and started a session today at 18.15. It's a great feature to know and understand how to use, so make sure to smash that like button for me, and I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers, so make sure to subscribe below. Let's keep going on so we understand how to log in with this new user. I'm gonna exit out of this dialog box, and then I'm first going over to a terminal to show you something that has been created now that we have a new user. Notice if I go back a directory here, I'm now in the home directory. There are two separated home directories based on username. We have Savvy Nick 2 and Savvy Nick. Currently, I'm in the Savvy Nick user, therefore, I'm using this home folder, meaning I can change directories into Savvy Nick and access it with no problem. Now, if I wanted to do the same thing with Savvy Nick 2, so I'm going to try changing directories to Savvy Nick 2, notice I get permission denied. This is because I'm not currently logged in as a root user who can actually access this other user's folder. But I'll show you what happens if you are an administrative user. You can do something like sudo su, log in as the root user, and now I have access to even the Savvy Nick 2 folder. That's why it's important not to just give out administrative privileges to everybody because they will have access to everybody's files and folders. So some reasons you might wanna create a secondary account, maybe the separation of privileges, or to manage multiple user sharing, testing and development across user configurations. Perhaps you have guests who are using the computer. Basically creating additional user accounts allows for better organization security and customization on the Ubuntu system here. So I'm gonna exit out of here. Now that we've learned that lesson, let's log in with our new user. I'm going up to the top. 
clicking on power off or log out, and then I'm going to hit switch user. Switch user gives me access to the new user now, Savvy Nick 2 I'm going to type in the password that I created for this user, hit enter, and log in. And if it's your first time logging in with a new user, you're going to have to go through the greeter and tour of Ubuntu, which allows you to just set a few things up. I'm going to skip the online accounts and I'm going to skip Ubuntu Pro. No, I do not want to send my system information to, to Canonical. And then finally, I will be done setting up this new user's account and I have availability to their desktop. Now, since we made this a standard user, I'm going to do the same test here and try accessing Savvy Nick from the Savvy Nick 2 user. So how did I do this before? Well, I went back a directory. There we go, I see Savvy Nick. I'm gonna change directories into Savvy Nick and permission has been denied. Well, I know how to get around this one. I just do sudo su, type in the password for this current user, hit enter and notice this time I got an error. Savvy Nick 2 is not in the suitor's file. This incident will be reported. Well, I have a video on how to add Savvy Nick 2 to the suitor's file, so you'll want to make sure to subscribe below so you can come back to the channel and check out that video as well. But notice how the separation works here. Congratulations if you made it this far, you created a user. Don't forget to like the video and stick around the channel so you can check out how to do this all from the command line in a future video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.